disclaimer, this video was made a while ago, like a month ago, but I'm just posting it now because I haven't been editing it. But hopefully you enjoyed the video still. I made this when I had my, before my spring drop. So I'm sorry for the delay, but I will get back on track. Thank you guys for watching. How you doing YouTube? It's Jay, the 17 year old owner of Big Bands Apparel. And today I'll be showing you guys how to make a reflective shirt. I'll be taking you guys through the journey with me to make it. I'll be doing tests, different cuts, different pressures, and see what works the best. And I also got to see if it even glows in the dark or reflects in the dark. So if you guys want to join me in this journey, watch this whole video. And I ain't going to talk too much. Let's get straight into the video. All right, so now I'm in Cricut Sound Space. I got my measurements. I'm going to go to upload at the bottom and put in the designs that I want for this. This is my thing, boom, all three of them. And I also wanna do a star for my test. All right, by the way, if you want this design, it will be on the website drop in a few days after this video. All right, so now we put in the measurements. So the front is this little spider design, put it at six, um, I'm not trying to type no numbers. Six, all right, that's good, boom. A little web, 11 width, and I'll see what height they give me. Eight, 11 width, seven, eight, 15, plus that's 20, oh, that's definitely enough space. But let me measure the t-shirt, make sure it's 15 inches. Let's measure it real quick. I got the measuring tape right here. Let me try to find here. 15. Right, we got 15 right here. Make sure it's at least 15 inches. Right, yeah, it's way longer. All right, we good. We're finna click make it. I'm tripping. Let me go back. I have to do the test. I almost forgot. Add the canvas, view. It's gonna be two inches, two to three inches. Let me put it two. All right, I had to go back to the heat transfer warehouse website. This is where I went in one of my last videos. Went down, it shows you consent for each machine. But this is the same as the puff, iron on, and default. So let me go to Cricut. I'll put three for I can do three different temperatures. The one they say, one like 10 up and 10 down. See which one I like the best. After look at their application instructions, reflective details, and the comments, I finally found it. Right, the purple one, mirrored. All, right. All I did was click on this. Now go to Cricut. Yep, it's a mirror. Continue. Iron on default. A tip for you guys when you're using this, you have to put the darker side up. As you see, on this side is lighter. Dark is a little bit hard to see, but yeah, you yeah, can just cut it. All right, so here go the sissy easy reflect. Got to put it on 305. Sorry, you're 15. All right, let that heat up. This is my test hoodie. Everything in there. All right, I'm trying to put it in a spot that don't have a wrinkle. Put it right there. Put it down here or whatever. All right. I don't know if I use a Teflon thing. I'm going to try it without a Teflon, then I'm going to do it with it. It says the warm feel, so I gotta wait a little bit. All right, here go one. Let's see, it literally look good. I'm gonna turn that light off, see? Anything happen? Oh yeah, there you go. It's glowing. Don't matter what's it's going right, let's go on. Down, put it up 10 degrees.
I like more heat. I'm gonna just do these two, and now I'm gonna do the actual thing. Now it's time for the real stuff. Pre-press, shit that's not wrinkled. Now I gotta weed it. Get the signs on the front over here, so I just pierce it through. Once you see that little thing right there, I just peel up, not too far though. I go straight, and now it's coming out. Got this better design. Probably just going this way, so. Those are my settings. <coughs> I guess the moment of truth. It worked. It looked nice. Um, I obviously got to remove that stuff, whatever that is. But it looked nice. I did it. Appreciate you guys. Check out the Instagram, TikTok, and Big Man's Apparel. Much love.